Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have a brand new Graviteam tutorial for you. So before we get started, if you like military strategy, tactics, or doctrine, this is definitely the channel for you. So make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe because we apply those strategy, tactics, and doctrine to strategy games. And today we're going to be talking about the show firing capabilities graph and we're going to go really in depth into it because we have a recoilless rifle. We're going to talk about ammunition rounds, ammunition types, spalling, and armor penetration. So buckle up and let's get started. All right, so you've been seeing me use you've been seeing me use this graph quite often in the most recent videos. It's called the show firing capabilities graph. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to list off all these ranges. So you have a total of ten boxes. What you need to understand this is not the maximum effective range of these weapons. Firing capabilities is more the firepower. In that specific area and how cake and how overwhelming or how strong it is so and we're going to go we're going to make go more in depth into that in this ne next part so let's just we're just going to list off the values of each of these 10 boxes real quick it's 25 meters 50 meters 100 250 500 750 1000 1500 2000 3000 um, it's in the community forums. I'll try and I'll post it down in the description as well. So here we have infantry, tanks, and aircraft. So in order to understand this graph a bit more, we need to understand the ammunition type of this M40. So we're going to click off this graph real quick, and we're going to come over to the ammo. On this ammo, this recoilless rifle has a 106 millimeter high explosive but when doing further research it was high explosive plastics so high explosive plastic is a round that when fired at a piece of armor or really anything it compresses onto that armor and explodes forcing a blast wave into that vehicle and creating what's called spalling spalling is shrapnel that comes off the inside of the vehicle or from the armor of the vehicle and flies around inside the cabin of that piece of armor so if we go back to our graph, we can further elaborate on why that wouldn't be effective against infantry, right? One, it's a recoilless rifle. It has high explosive plastics. I believe the round weighs a maximum of seven pounds. It could be more when I was researching it. So why you need to, we're going to go with the assumption of why would this weapon be super effective against infantry? It's really not. It's got a bunch of yellow bars. It's degraded while it will cause some damage and throw shrapnel and create fear. Unless you get like a good direct hit and depending on the blast radius and what's around and the blast size, it's not really going to do that much damage. That's not saying that it's not lethal. It's just degraded. Now, if we hover back over here, we see we have high explosive. We need to click off this. High explosive anti-tank, 106 millimeter M344s. So if we come back to this car chart, now we can see that our vehicle or our weapon system is really effective, whether that be at 25 meters or all the way up to 1,000 meters. So there's always going to be penetration and it's going to be within our firing capability range, which is the area of our maximum fire potential and our maximum effectiveness. That's not to say that this weapon won't fly farther because it very well will because it has a maximum range of 6,000 meters. But for our purposes, our graph only goes up to 3,000. So now let's we're going to do one more thing. We're going to head over here. We're going to visit our round that's mid-flight. If we can locate it. Yep, there it is. So remember, we're talking about high explosive anti-tank. We have 15 rounds. So here's our round that's mid-flight right here. We come over to this ammo one more time. We need to click off this graph we can see that we have 14 rounds of high explosive anti-tank, which means this is a high explosive anti-tank round that's flying towards this tank currently. All right, so for our next step, we're going to grab our graph and we're gonna click on him. He's within a thousand meters. So when we click on this graph, what we're, we're mainly, I've talked about this graph before, but we're going to talk about this blue arrow because it correlates a bit to this graph. So remember, our 
ammo has a maximum effect, um, like a the best firing capability or the most firepower within a thousand meters. Granted, we're just slightly out of a thousand meters. I believe we're at 1,098. So that blue arrow is what we're focusing on. That blue arrow effectively means that very, very high chance of penetration. And this is a quite a perfect scenario. One, it falls within our maximum firing capabilities range. We have a blue arrow, which indicates a high degree of penetration. So we can correlate that to our firing capabilities chart. And we can determine that it's a, we can also de determine that it's an anti-tank round, like high explosive anti-tank, because we are missing one high explosive anti-tank round from this vehicle because we both started with 15, right? So that really clears up the, we have the round type that allows us to interpret the graph that allows us to see the maximum effective range and how that anti-tank round is going to penetrate this tank. We're gonna go a bit further. We have a, a tank over here, which is also within a thousand meters. So we're not super concerned about that one. We have a, a solid blue arrow, which means a high degree of penetration is likely. But we also have a mystery vehicle out here, which has an orange arrow, which is still penetration and we know this is a lightly armored vehicle and the high and it has a high degree and a high chance of penetrating but the arrow is orange so our chance is a bit reduced as you can see we have a green arrow the m344 which is our anti-tank round but it also falls under our high explosive round this i believe we're around 1600 meters out so if we come over here we can see that it's degraded and as we can see the it's degraded as well because we have an orange arrow. And right here we can see it, uh, it's still effective at 1.67. 1, 1 All right. So let's click off that. Let's click off this. And let's see if we get some penetration. Oh, and he missed. All right, well, we have, oh, ATGM out. Woo! That was merciless right there. All right, third ATGM. Going all the way back. God, man, these guys need to work on their aim, man. They're gonna, they're just not gonna make it. Anyway, that's the video I just wanted to do a bit of combat. Um, I hope it's helpful. I hope it's not too confusing. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Um, one day we'll have a thousand subscribers and we'll uh, s start streaming first-person shooters. JK. All right, we're all about strategy here, and sometimes shooters, but mostly strategy. Peace out.